Let's just step in real close if you like. And Chester has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist Chester with our prayers. Let us pray also to the Lord for ourselves, all those gathered around this tent. May we who mourn be reunited one day with Chester, and together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We have a reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew. It's kind of long, uh, but it's, it typifies Chester. It's, uh, it's about Judgment Day. I'm sure you'll remember it as soon as you hear it started, but it's, it's, it's typical of the life that Chester led. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. Then he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father in heaven, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. I was ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, I say to, do, to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. And I think that typifies a lot of the life of the way Chester lived, at least the parts that I knew of him for probably the last 25 years. Um, as we said uh, a little while ago, he always did it with a smile on his face, you know. And, uh, he certainly served his country well. You don't get a Purple Heart and Bronze Stars and all the other things for just uh, 
enlisted in the army or any other service. He sacrificed himself for other people. But he gave us all an example. And with this crazy thing with the virus and sickness and flu and everything going around, this gospel says the same thing to us. Maybe we've got to keep our six foot distance, but we can still call people up. There's people who call me. And I've called a lot of people, you know, and just say, how are you? And joke, and it says, we're supposed to check on our old jokes, so I'm calling you to see how you're doing. So it gives you an excuse, you know. And maybe when all this is over, uh, we can really celebrate Chester's life. And uh, you all can share some really neat stories and laugh, as well as maybe cry, too. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, because God has chosen <coughs> to call Chester from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall all return. But the Lord Jesus will change our mortal bodies to be like his own in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend Chester to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. After each special petition that we offer, we ask you to respond with, Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, forgive the sins of all those who have died in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Remember the good they have all done and welcome Chester into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who mourn and who will miss Chester. Comfort them in their grief and give them your love and your peace. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Lighten our sense of loss with your presence, Lord, and increase our faith and strengthen our hope. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray also for all of our nurses and doctors and technicians, our first responders, those who are trying to respond with care and compassion to all those who are sick and suffering from the virus. Keep them faithful to you, Lord, and give them courage and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And enkindle in our hearts a longing in heaven. We pray to the and sisters in Christ, I think, with God as our Father, Chester believe that. Let us pray now to God our Father in the same words the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God of holiness and power, accept all of our prayers on behalf of your servant, Chester. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he always desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join Chester now for all the angels and saints in heaven. And this is a prayer we ask for through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the love of God and the Jesus Christ, bless and